up, Tackle Warehouse? John Cruz here. We're at the Spro Sunline Writers Conference out here on the mighty Mississippi River. We're gonna see if we can go catch us some fish. Got a lot of current, got a lot of top water action potentially. Don't know what we're gonna see, but we're gonna go after them. There he is, right there. Right on the end, right in the current. Ooh, golly, good one too. Original Little John. Woo, gotta get down and get this fish. There it is, a chunk on the Little John. You know, what we got here is a, a perfect example of stuff on this Mississippi River. Uh, up and down the river, when you get into the summer and into the fall, Cranking really comes into play. Spro Little John, Spro Fat John, that kind of stuff really comes into play. Uh, that fish was right there, right where the, right where that, the front current meets. There's a little bit of a seam right there. That's right where that fish was sitting. Nice, fat, healthy Mississippi River bass. Let's see if we can't go get another one. Yeah, yeah. Now, if you see I'm throwing up in front, of this into the current. A lot of people, I think, make the mistake of only fishing behind the current breaks and only on the edges. The edges are probably the best areas, but right there on the front of where the current breaks, that current, will, the water will come and have to split one way or the other, and it, and it makes actually an eddy on the front side. So don't overlook the front side when you're cranking out here on these, on these rivers. I catch them all sizes. Fishing in the fall, you get in the right areas, you catch all sizes of bass. That's a fact. It might be small, but I like his attitude. Oh, here he is. It was on the rock and then he popped off. Oh! Yeah, he hit it on slack line, so he didn't get much of a hook set on it. Shoot. Now my setup here is a Spro Little John crankbait in the net, uh, hold on, oh, there he is. Oh, jumper. Ah, oh, jumped off. Yeah, my setup here is the uh, Spro Nasty Shad Colored Little John, it's the original, it's the very first one I did. It's still a fish catching machine, especially in the fall, especially around current, uh, but also in lakes. I, I've got that on 12 pound Sunline FC, a crank FC. That is money, money, shallow cranking line. I've got it on the John Cruz square bill cash and rod. Uh, one I helped design, it's got the perfect action. Got it on a six four to one reel. So that's, that's the combo. I've used this combination for years and years and years. Tried longer, I've tried shorter rods, tried different actions. This thing is the deal right here. And one, one key I can tell you about cranking in the fall, little, the crankbait allows you to cover a lot of water. It allows you to, to get reaction strikes from fish that are going to be wanting to be keyed in on, on bait fish this time of year. So. The one thing I want to tell you, angles make a big deal. You know, we fished this same piece of cover from the opposite angle, didn't get bit, switched around here to the opposite side, threw it, throwing at a different angle, and, and caught fish. So that's, that's what I mean. You got to try different angles to find the right angle that the fish want to get them to trigger. You'll be a better crankbait fisherman if you try different angles. All right, that finishes up today's vlog on Tackle Warehouse. So be sure to like, share, and tag a friend for your chance to win some of the cool gear we had out today, sponsored by Spro, Sunline, and Gamagatsu.